Hey guys and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. In the last episode we managed to beat Misty and got ourselves our second Kanto Gym Badge. And today we will try to get our third in the Vermilion City Gym. So if you're excited for that be sure to press the like button down below. Now that we finally uh, solved the power plant uh, problem we can go ahead and enter this gym. Um, so yeah let's go ahead and do that. I have Moe's up front because uh, Moe's is a ground type move so it's most likely, get it? Most like, okay. Just forget my joke, but it's most likely going to be the MVP of this uh, gym, hopefully. Let's talk to this guy right here. Yo, legend in the making, you lucked out this time. The traps at the gym have been out of order for a while, really? Oh, <laughs> why are you just gonna do me like that? I thought they would uh, didn't work and we didn't have to uh, do this annoying puzzle, but apparently they work again, so we uh, still have to do it. Because you can train better yourself that way. Make up your mind and go for Lieutenant Surge. Uh, so it seems like... Yep, we have to do this puzzle. Um, kinda unfortunate, but let's go ahead and battle these trainers. This is going to be a double battle. Lieutenant Surge, summon potential with Electrotype Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Yep, it's going to be a double battle. I'm going to take you down, prepare to be shocked. Uh, wait, I just realized I can't go for EQ because I... Uh, this is a double bet, I don't think I have Dragonite or ho oh, oh, up front. Okay, Rotom Heat. Um, that is kinda bad, because we can't hit you with ground type moves. Um, let's go for a dig on the Electa bus and... I think I'm just gonna switch out and go into... I can't go into upgrade. I guess Claire? Well, I probably should have went for EQ then. Yeah, that's my mistake. There's T-Bolt, can we take that? It does a lot, not gonna lie. Um, let's Dragon Rush the... Uh, actually, I should probably focus on one man. I'm gonna E-Speed uh, Electabuzz. Okay, we do get paralyzed, which is uh, annoying. But at least the Electabus is dead now. And he's going for charge. Oh, that is kind of bad. Electrode. Um, let's go for... I'm gonna f go for EQ now. And... Oh, right. I have my choice band. That sucks. I'm forced to go for dig then. Let's uh, go ahead and heal up. Well, if I can just get rid of that Rotom, I can send out my own Rotom. Mirror Coat, okay. Yeah, let's just try to kill that Rotom right here. Go for a Dragon Rush on the Rotom. Yeah, I forgot all about my Choice Band, otherwise I would have just went for, uh, for EQ. We missed the Dragon Rush. There's the Magneton. Okay, let's go for Dig again and... We're probably the fastest, so let's just go for Dragon Rush on the Rotom. Hopefully land this time. Nice, we landed. And we Oko the Rotom, so that is great. Wow, pro strats. I j really? He has all the Rotom forms, are you kidding me? If he attacks most, that is bad. I have to heal most up. Or I could just try to kill the Rodin right here. Let's do that. We miss. Okay, luckily he didn't attack most. Um, I'm forced to switch out. That is bad. That is really too bad. Uh, I could go Fury. Fury isn't really a safe switch though. Upgrade is my best uh, switch in. And just try to Dragon Rush this Rodin right here. Okay, that thing is almost dead, nice. And the uh, Magneton is going for Mirror Shot. Luckily he didn't go for Mirror Shot on my Duck Trio, otherwise I would have screamed. Uh, let's go ahead and go for a... I think I'm gonna use um, 
Use Rotom's turn to heal up Claire. And then E speed the uh, Rotom. Okay, that thing is dead. A gyro ball. Okay, that did nothing. And that's the last road to Rotom Frost. Okay, that thing is Blizzard. He's gonna kill all of my, uh, all of my mons, isn't he? I guess my only play is Leaf Storm. Yeah, it's Leaf Storming this thing and E-speeding it because tra I can't afford Dragon Rush to miss. So please, just kill this Rodan right here. We miss. Okay, he goes for Ominous Wind. That does not... He gets all the boosts. Are you kidding me? Okay, the Magnetrise wore off. Let's do this again. Actually, let's just go for Ominous Wind. With choice packs. I forgot to, uh, I forgot that. Okay, Leaf Storm the Rodem. E-Speed the Rodem. And just try to kill this thing. I'm scared of the blizzard. Okay, we land our moves. Okay, we uh, can't get blizzard anymore. That is great. And Magneton. Wait, did we miss the Magneton? I thought Leaf Storm hit everything on the field. And they have more mons. Do they have six each? Yeah, they do have six each. I thought they had three each. So it's actually a 6v12 battle. Are you kidding me? Okay then. Okay. I'm gonna... I think I have to heal up... Uh, most right here. And I'm gonna Dragon Rush the Rotom. Okay, that thing is dead. Claire grows a nice level. Mirror Shot misses. Yeah, he has all the Rotom forms. There's his Rotom uh, Mo. I can't switch out though. And I'm forced to go for Leaf Storm. Wait, Leaf Storm just hits one mon. Wow, I didn't realize that. But the Magneton doesn't really do much, so I'm just gonna attack the Rodent Forms. Just wipe out one part of the field. It still did a lot, even though I was minus two uh, attack, or split attack rather. Okay, that Rodent is dead, that's the Gyro Ball, which is gonna do nothing. Okay, that was it for all the Rodems. Great. Um, I'm gonna stay in and just... Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess just go for Leaf Storms. No, I'm just minus Pedef. Let's go Moe's and I'm gonna heal Claire up. I have to play this smart. Go into Moe's and then I'm just gonna press EQs. Not going for Dick anymore. EQ, kill you, and let's just go for a Dragon Dance, just so we don't waste a move. Wait, did he go for Magnetrise again? I didn't realize that. Okay, that thing wore off, so let's go for EQ. Okay, I didn't realize he went for another Magnet, uh, Magnetrise. Let's go for Super Potion on Moe's. This battle is taking longer than expe I expected it to be. Okay, finally we managed to kill this Magneton who has been on the field for a decade or something. Okay, that was actually the last mom, really? Okay, so maybe they just did have six months? I really don't know. But he was overpowered. Okay, this battle took a really long time, but there's only one more uh, battle remaining, that is against that old man. Um, yeah, we don't really have to heal up again, so... Let's battle this guy, hopefully this won't be as tough as a double battle. Probably shouldn't have done a double battle. And yes, I am indeed here to battle Lieutenant Surge, otherwise I wouldn't even enter this building. Because who would do this uh, trash puzzle for fun? Not me. So let's go for a EQ on this uh, Manectric. Should be able to Oko, nice. Luxray, I'm just gonna stay in. We don't get intimidated, so this thing probably has Guts or Rivalry as its ability. I think Rivalry, because Guts was his hidden ability. Hidden abilities weren't uh, applied yet in uh, Gen 4. But that was it for Gregory, and this battle was really easy. 
Well, you actually hear the electricity uh, when you stand right here. That's pretty cool. Um, but now we have to f uh, solve this annoying trash puzzle. I do know it's adjacent to the uh, first uh, trash bin you talk to. Which one does have to switch? This one? Yeah, I really hate this puzzle. Okay, I found it. Is it this one? Okay, I actually managed to do this first try. Wow, I really didn't expect that. And now the path to the leader is clear, but I do still have to heal up, so let's go back to the Pokemon Center. I really hope we don't have to do this puzzle over again. Okay, so I'm back, I healed up, and it seems like we have to do this puzzle over again. Okay, that is fun. Uh, I really thought we wouldn't have to do, uh, do this anymore, but seems like we do have to, and let's talk to this one. Are you kidding me? I hate this puzzle so much, but I actually went ahead uh, off screen, fought some wild Pokemon because most was really close to leveling up and that extra level might come in clutch. Yeah, it sucks we have to do this puzzle all over again. This one? Nope. This one? Okay, it is this one. Okay, if it isn't this one, I'm gonna cut to the part in which I finally solve this puzzle. Okay, never mind, uh, it is this one. Okay, so that didn't take too long, luckily. Uh, but yeah, now the path to the leader is clear, so this time we won't exit this gym uh, because otherwise we have to do this over again, so let's talk to Lieutenant Surge. Hey you little tyke! It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric type Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I do with all my enemies in battle. So there we have it, Lieutenant Surge, the third gym leader in the Kanto region. So hopefully we're able to defeat him. Uh, Mechnosome. We do have uh, Mose up front, also level 61. So we should be able to Oko you right here, unless you have the Air Balloon, but you didn't have that one. Otherwise we would have uh, noticed that right upon entry. But this should be able to Oko the Mechnosome, nice. It was a crit, most likely it didn't matter. Electifier. I think it's in my best interest to just stay in. And hope I just kill you. Man, I miss my Electifier, I really do. But Moses EQ should be able to Oko you. I mean, my Electifier didn't have good defense, so yours probably doesn't have uh, either. Yep, nice. Down the Electifier goes. Right you. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in. Go for EQ. And Oko the right you as well. This is going great. Moses outspeeding er uh, everything because it's so fast. Ampharos, I'm just gonna stay in as well. EQ you. Ampharos is pretty bulky, right? But not bulky enough because most kills it, so... Yeah, this battle is going really great so far. Jolteon, that thing is fast. But I think Moses is faster, right? Moses is faster and Jolteon is so frail, it's just gonna drop. It should drop, yep. Okay, this battle is going really, really well so far. Last man is going to be an Electrode. I know Electrode is fast, but Mo should be faster. We are faster and we kill the Electrode. I think. Well, we should kill it. Okay, Mo just solos this gym. Wow. So far, these Kento gym leaders have really been... It's really been weak. Uh, yeah. Ah, you're so strong. Okay, kid. You get the Thunder Badge. And there we go, we received the Thunder Badge, our third Kanto Gym Badge, so that is really great. So let's add that to the layout. That Thunder Badge suits those who've defeated me. Take good care of it, okay? There's something else for you, here's a great TM. TM Shockwave or Thunderbolt? Uh, let's see, it's going to be the TM for Shockwave indeed. So that team contains TM, not team, contains Shockwave, Zap. Use it to go like lightning. You should go ahead to, towards Saladin, take the Rock Tunnel route. Okay, so we can't actually enter Saffron. And perhaps we can have an electrifying rematch sometime. I'll give you my telephone number. So yeah, we can't go to Saffron yet. We have to go, uh, well, take the original uh, route, which was going through Rock Tunnel, enter Lavender Town, and after that, enter Saladin. Uh, but I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and as you guys can see, we're now in Route 10, because we have to take Rock Tunnel as a... Uh, what he's called, uh, Lieutenant Surge said, so let's do that. And we can also catch a new Pokemon in Rock Tunnel. We still have some time left because, well, the gym battle was really easy and it seems like we need Flash, but I was prepared for that because I did bring Solana uh, for my box. Uh, I replaced it temporarily for Moe's. Uh, so let's use Solana and Flash and get rid of the darkness. 
It was kind of glitch, uh, glitched because we uh, could see the borders. Uh, but we can still catch a new Pokemon in this uh, cave. So let's see what we can encounter and see if we can find a hidden item. Nope, apparently not. Okay, our encounter for Flash or Flash, not Flash. For Rock Tunnel is going to be a Golbat. That is dupes because we already caught a... A Zubat a long time ago, so let's run away, or well, try to run away from this thing. Really? Come on. Okay, finally. And yeah, let's see how uh, far we can enter uh, Rock Tunnel in this episode. Uh, I would love to finish up, uh, finish it up in this episode, but that is unlikely. I mean, Rock Tunnel is pretty big, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe it's not as big in this game as it is in Fire and Leaf Queen. And our encounter is going to be an Onyx, actually. So that is a pretty cool encounter. It's a... Uh, it's an extra ground type which we can put in our box. Uh, let's try to not kill this thing though. Let's go for a crunch. I think you should be able to lift this onyx. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, he has rock head. That's great. So uh, we don't have to worry about recoil. Stone edge misses. Let's go for a couple of headbutts. Okay, he's in the red now. And we did get the flinch, so that is great. Uh, let's throw an ultra ball at you. Try to catch you. And let's see. One. Two. Three, and there we go, we catch ourselves. Okay, I spoke too soon, really. Probably should have waited a bit. Uh, let's try again. I really thought we uh, we got it there, but apparently not. Okay, let's try a second ultra ball. One, two, three, and... There we go. Okay, we finally managed to catch this Onyx. So let's try to come up with a great nickname for you. Onyx the Rock Snake Pokemon is twist and scrum through the ground. The thunderous roar of, it, of its tunneling echoes a long way. Uh, Onyx, I could call you Brock. Um, should I call you Brock? Actually, no, I have a better uh, name for you. You're going to be... Solid, Solid Snake, because you're Solid and a snake. And it's also a reference to, well, Solid Snake. So Solid the Onyx is going to the box for now. Um, what was down here? Okay, some Rock Smash rocks, but I don't have a Rock Smash here with me. Oh, we also could have got a Lay Run. That would have also been pretty cool. Uh, let's run away, though. This is a dead end, so uh, let's go up again. And let's also put up a Repel so we don't encounter wild Pokemon anymore. Uh, Max Repel, we still have a lot of those left, so... Uh, yeah, let's continue on. And see what else this case uh, has to bring us. Let's go on our bike, that's faster. There's an item there. Uh, wait, did we come from here? No, we didn't. Uh, our item is going to be a PP up. Uh, it was pretty, pretty helpful, I think. But I'm curious as to what that item is. Let's get rid of our bike again because it's kind of hard to navigate. Okay, there's a ladder there. But first, I want to take this item, which is a revive. Okay, that was a waste of time. Let's go back, uh, go up that ladder. Um, okay, we're now here. Where should we even go? Okay, it seems like this cave is pretty linear in comparison to the Fire Red and Leaf Queen counterpart. I think that cave was a lot harder to navigate. Okay, um, let's put up a rappel again. And we have to go left or right? Let's go right first. I think that's the uh, incorrect way. Kind of want to take that one first in case we... Find an item or something. Okay, nothing. Uh, yeah, it seems like we, uh, there is another part to this cave, but we need rock climb for that. Seems like a lot of caves in Kanto we need rock climb. But you had Diglett's cave and also Victory Road, I'm pretty sure. I can't really uh, remember correctly, but let's grab this item, which is going to be a an elixir. Okay, cool. Was there something up here? This is a curious spot. Okay, never mind. There's nothing here. No item in this rock, unfortunately. Uh, okay. What's up here then? Another item. TM for fling. Uh, that's a pretty bad TM. Probably not gonna use it. We need to throw an item at it. But really the only good item for fling is iron, uh, the iron ball. Maybe something else, but I can't really think of it. But we managed to exit, uh, what's it called? Rock tunnel. So that was pretty easy. Uh, so let's battle this hiker. And let's try to um, reach... Lavender Town in this episode, and after that, probably end of the episode. Yeah, I really thought we would uh, spend the entire episode facing Lieutenant Surge, but the gym was so easy. 
I mean the double battle we had was easier than Lieutenant Search. Or harder, I mean harder than Lieutenant Search. Um, a champ. Let's go into Claire. Goes for the cross chop, we can live that. And let's go for a nice wing attack on you. And Oko the Machamp, nice. Marowak is coming out next, so let's go back into chops. And go for a surf. Yeah, I need to keep, what's he called, uh, upgrades uh, in the back. Because in a bit of gym battle against Misty, he gains so much level. So yeah, I kind of need you uh, to keep him in the back so we can train all of our other mons. Any other trainers on this route? Yeah, there's a dude. Uh, what was down here then? Oh, we, uh, really we need strength to uh, get that item. I'll probably do that off screen. Uh, so let's go to that uh, man that was looking around. Let's also heal up Chops because it was kind of weakened. So let's go for Super Potion on Chops. Okay, nice. And yeah, let's battle this old man now. Okay, uh, for a second I thought he wasn't a trainer because he didn't see me from all the way over there. You really love Pokemon, don't you? Well, kinda. Uh, I mean, I spent my entire childhood uh, playing the games and also after that. So yeah, I, you can call me a fan. Uh, Quacksire. So let's go for a... I hope you're not Water Absorb. Nice. Okay, Muddy Water. The cooler version of Surf. Well, it's not really this, a version of Surf, but they have similar animations. And really, I don't know why I went for Crunch. I should have just went for Surf again. At least the Quacksire is dead now. Recover. Didn't recover him enough. There's a slow bro, so let's stay in and go for a crunch. Okay, that seems like a two shot, so let's go for one again. Unless we miss. Uh, yeah, I don't want to risk the miss because of that uh, muddy water, so let's just heal uh, Chops up to full. There's the Psychic again. We get the Spadef drop, are you kidding me? Let's try to kill you right here, nice. Okay, the slow bro is dead now, that was kind of annoying. And that was it for Pokefan Robert. Uh, yeah, and as I said, we need strength for that. Or oh, do we have a strength mana on our squad? No, we don't. Okay, so let's leave and... Here we are in Lavender Town. Does it still have the creepy music? I don't think so. Well, it's still kind of similar to the original uh, tune, but definitely not as scary. No, it's really not scary. I mean, this... Wow, this music is so peaceful. It's really strange in comparison to the original uh, background music. Uh, but let's go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Okay, so my Pokemon are all healed up now. But as I said, I'm gonna end off the episode right here. In the next episode, we will maybe take on Poke Tower. I really don't know what to do uh, in this town. So yeah, you'll see that in the next one. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.